There are a lot of lessons from CP5 to take into CP6 undoubtedly. I mean, the first two years were very challenging, partly as a result of the reclassification of our debt onto the government balance sheet. But a key lesson from that is that you need to spend time up front making sure that the projects you're going to deliver are really well formulated, and you know what you're going to do, uh, and that you can then give a, a confident estimate uh, about the time frame and the cost of delivering the project. And what we've seen over the last couple of years is that when we do that, we're actually very good at delivering projects on time and on budget. But we need to spend more time up front getting it right. For CP6, we expect the spend on operations, maintenance and renewals to increase by about 24%, so it's a very significant increase. But I am very alert to the fact that over the next couple of years there is a bit of a dip in spend and we are currently working with funders to see if we can accelerate some money to try and smooth that transition. And we're also working with the supply chain to talk about what are the best forms of contract that we should use to give them certainty over a longer period of time so that they can invest then in skills and in innovation that we need to become more efficient as an industry.